<laughs> so tell me your name. My name is Tanya. And how old are you? Seven. And what is your clown name? My Mimi Clown. Mimi Clown. I love that name. Did you pick it yourself? Yeah. And um, how do you spell Mimi? M E M E M E. Me 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 me. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. So tell me about your costume. I uh, my my Mimi made it, but this costume, but this costume always have one of these clown that says Juju be the clown. Oh, who's who's Juju be the clown? My Mimi right there. Come over here, Mimi. I am Judy Johnson, a.k.a. Jujube the Clown, and I have been clowning for 31 years in August, and Tanya came into my life at five months old, and she has been with me ever since, and she started doing an elf character four years ago, and this forever. is her forever. And this is the first time that she's debuting, and she is a true first of May clown. First time ever getting in makeup and costume. And then me and my Mimi, we um, went to um, see my Santa George. Santa George at the, at the Santa convention and all the Santa's helpers. And then I... Me and my um, brother and my papa will go with me because I... The whole family goes. Yeah. Right? And then... Is this a couple clowns? No. <laughs> and then... Are you my only clown right now? She is my only clown right now. So, because I was here, I am... A clown, my, my clown's name is Mimi Clown. Mimi's Clown, you're my clown? Yeah. She is a mini me. She and is an absolute mini Mimi. And then <laughs> I, um, so, knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? <laughs> yeah. Talk mini, 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 mini. Hi, Tanya. Well, I heard you competed today. Can you tell me what it was like to get ready for competition? <laughs> you go ahead and finish chewing. I'm just really proud of you for being here and being seven, right? You're seven. And every day you're in a different outfit and you're making people so happy. My Mimi always dressed me. Well, yes, but you let her. And you and sometimes, I mean, you wear a wig and you keep it on all day. And a nose, you're keeping it on all day. Does that feel uncomfortable at all? Um, sometimes, but every day I have a nose like this. That always, always stay on because her 
always dress me because her always today her doing balloons. I just like it. Yeah. You like how it makes you look. Yeah. And what was it like to compete? Um, that one was like the peak, like, um, alternative one because, um, I love doing a painting. So, you like competing. Did you, um, we're putting the water lid back on. Hi. All right, come back up here. Um, did you know what to do? Did did your grandma tell you how, what you needed to do? Yeah, some, um, my mimi always teach me, teach me to uh, do something and I will do things. I like her say, oh, sit, and I will sit, like, yeah. <laughs> Very good. So you knew that you needed to turn around and so they could look at your costume. And uh, what else did you have to do up there? Um, I had to do, like, turning, and then, um, I had to do some things. Did you do a pose? Can you, would you show us your pose? Show us a quarter turn. Another quarter turn. Quarter turn. Quarter turn. And pose. Very good. So she's getting ready to compete for balloons now. I'm just going to sit on the edge here. Paint. And paint. Is she going to paint you? Oh, yeah. And then other people make balloons. That's right. Tell me what it's like when you're busy all day long. Do you get tired? <sighs> I will take a nap, but... Nah, I always um, take a nap on my Mimi's head on her body. Oh, like just fall asleep? Yeah, because I love. What about food? What's it like eating at convention? So, um, my Mimi always feed me. Um, this is, um, my Mimi bought it for me for I have lunch and then... I um, always eat these um, sandwiches because that will be um, um, good for my tummy. And are you drinking lots of water? Yep. And I have bananas. Now your your nose isn't on. I can. I'm in between transitions. Because oh. had to switch uh, from full bag lady to a goose for our group skit later today. Then I'll run down and do my finishing touches and get everything ready for group skit for us. We try to make sure that we have a lot of healthy things to eat and the crustables, the uncrustables I should say, are um, has jelly and peanut butter so she gets the protein in and we do a lot of bananas and grapes and oranges and apples to get the natural sugars in. And tell us again the foods that you try to avoid. Oh. Cookies, uh, muffins, uh, candy, um, but we do give her the bananas and grapes and oranges so she gets natural sugars, not processed sugars, and it helps maintain her throughout the day. And with the, So on the run, when we're competing, we have to do things that we can do quickly and, and healthy. Okay, she's got to get ready, but... It is a really challenging thing to be at a convention and eating right because there's a lot of foods that are offered. And so our little ones here, they have to eat and drink lots of water. Because my baby want me to eat a lot to drink, uh, a drink a lot of juice, but... Don't forget the water. Is this water? My juice water. Juice water. Let's go check out and see what they're all doing now. We'll see what they're going to do. All right, ready for skit number 158. Something stinks. Number 158, something stinks.
157 with Hair Special Sale. Hair Special Sale.
My name is Tanya. Do you have a clown name? What's your clown name? Mimi. Mimi Clown. I love that. And how old are you? Seven. Seven. And where are you from? New Hampshire. New Hampshire.
Hello, Ira. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Hello out there. Can you hear me now? Oh, I hate microphones. They taste like metal. Oh goodness. Well, I'm Dr. B. Wacko, and I'm a hospital clown, children's hospital in Jacksonville, Florida. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's better. I couldn't see you. Uh, I hope some of you out there might consider going to the hospital and visiting sick children, or better yet, maybe you'd like to go to a nursing home where some of our seniors are sitting there with nobody to visit. Let me tell you something. Us old people have a lot to share, so don't be afraid to approach us, okay? Don't be afraid to say, hey, can I talk to you? And you know what we'll say? No, kid, get out of here. No, we're just joking. <laughs> then we'd say, I'd love to tell you, what would you like to know? Oh, my nose? Yes, it's real. I picked it myself. Uh, get it? I picked it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> But yes, we got a lot to, to share with you. So clowning is a wonderful, wonderful occupation. It really is. And uh, I've been doing it for 35 years. But before I was doing this, guess what I did? Go ahead, guess. Okay, that's enough. I was a naval officer. Aviation, Navy. Yes, airplanes, all this stuff. And you know what? 30 years I did that. So that should tell you I'm pretty old. <laughs> yeah, but that's okay. I'm still young at heart, and I hope you will have a long, wait a minute, in case you, I hope you, wait a minute, I hope you will have a very, very long clown career. Dr. B. Wacko, over and out. Hey everybody, I'd like to introduce you to Leon McBride. Oh, they're there. Hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, they were asking me, uh, what do I think about clowning today and, and how to survive uh, being a clown and the change? Uh, and I'll let you know, for the older clowns, there is hope because we can transition and take the talents that we have into other fields. Like, you see what I look like today. I would always didn't look like that. As a clown, as Buttons the Clown with the Ringling Brothers and Barn Betty Circus, I had a totally different look. But the clowns ask me, well, what do we do and how are we going to survive? It's very easy. You keep learning. You keep learning and you, if you want to work in your market and there's other people there, be better than they are. You know, it's, it's known fact that it takes 100 hours of research and practice to do a three-minute skit. Find what you love about them and then that's what you should be doing. Remember, change is good if it improves you and makes you a better clown and you can see the future of where clowning is headed. I love you, I love everything you do. The world needs you and your talents today. You keep it up, okay? And maybe one day, I can sit in the audience and laugh at you. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. See you down the road.